Yeah, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host Eben and we're back working on this beautiful 2013 GMC Sierra 2500 and of course it's got the Duramax 66 and it's got the Allison transmission and we're going to be kicking it off right now doing a transmission fluid change on this Allison transmission. Let's do it. If you're new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap the little red icon in the corner. That way you can come back and watch this important information for your vehicle later. This is our first Allison transmission. All we're gonna do is go ahead and crack her loose. Just loosen up our uh, oil filter here. Clown's Michigan filter. All right. She should come off nice and easy. There she blows. Whoop. And she looks pretty good. And as that's leaking a little bit, we're going to take our 15 mil socket and we're going to go ahead and crack our, uh, our other bolt loose. All right. And there she is. Got lefty, righty, same time. She's coming off on the count of three. One, two, and three. Oh, I'm a little late. I'm late. She's coming. And three. And there she blows. Both hands, same time. <laughs> There's our drain bolt right there. Here's our old filter. Looks pretty good and worn. And now you'll see right here, we have a little magnet. This magnet comes down. And now this little magnet gets cleaned. It's got all the little soot on it and stuff like that. You just take parts cleaner. Just like so, we got our parts cleaner, and we just spray her down. Watch out, Chris, I'm gonna spray that way. Watch out. All right, just spray her down. Got our fresh filter, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop open a nice fresh thing of fuel efficient ATF. This is 100% synthetic and you can comfortably double the severe service of the OEM drain interval. So say uh, Allison says you're good to go for 30,000 miles of towing and plowing snow, you can actually go double 60. And we're gonna do a little extra due diligence and just feel her up a little bit. Aha, uh -huh. look at that liquid cherry go. And this one's a super cherry. Ah, there she is. And now we come with two finger. Go ahead and wet her up nice and good, hit our threads. And then of course we gotta replace our little um, replace our little magnet. Our magnet is all nice and clean. And there she is, she's all good to go. And all we do is wipe her up, throw her up like that. Just catches a little bit more deposits and uh, metal flakes. And now we thread her up like so. She should go up like butter. Ah, smooth as silk. Crank her on a little bit. And there she is. Go ahead and loosen up all the other bolts. And Chris is down here at Express Lube and Auto Repair. If you ever are down here, Jeff's here, Chris is here, and he's just nailing all these little 13 millimeter bolts. And we're gonna be able to go ahead and uh, drop our pin. Pin, go ahead and drop her down. Um, throw me down an air hose, sir. Getting our last bolt. And there she goes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great hands, Chris. Beautiful. We're gonna drop that down. You can drop that down, Chris. Go ahead and pull her down. And it's like a bomb scare. 
It's like the murderer that comes back to life when you think they're dead in the killer movie, and then it splooges out one more time. <laughs> I don't have a rubber on. Let me, let me throw a rubber on. You okay? No, on the back right there with the towel. All right. There's our pan. And uh, we have our little magnet on the bottom. He's going to go ahead and clean her up. <coughs> Beautiful. All right, so Chris is just cleaning up our gasket. And this is one of the really, really good reusable ones that are really, really solid. And uh, they actually are improved because they have a little metal sleeve inside and it's actually embedded inside the filter and you'll see how there's that little metal uh, ring in there and it doesn't squeeze out the pan and actually spread out the the uh, bolt holes so it really uh, keeps the life of it and now we got our pan nice and clean all we do is just bolt her up pop in our fresh filter and then feel her up superstar Jeff here he's got the uh, beautiful touch and we're gonna capture it on video so here's what we got, okay? Every transmission filter kit. Uh, where's my transmission filter? Okay, so transmission filters come with a pickup tube, okay? It sucks the oil from the bottom of the pan all the way up to the tube. Let's go all the way up. And it pulls up through this little hole right here. This leads directly to the transmission's pump, okay? This O-ring on most transmission requires replacement every time. Now, the O-ring that they supplied us is not as high of quality. What you want to do is you want to reach up in there and make sure your rubber has really, really good, that there's no nicks, that it still feels supple. You don't want hard rubber because it doesn't work as well. So this one passed my inspection. I'm going to keep that one. I'm not going to swap it out. So this now becomes trash. We don't care about this. This transmission looks beautiful under here too. All it does is just pressure fit right in. And there she is. And Chris and I were just sitting here talking about how nice this Allison transmission is to work on. Uh, he goes, it doesn't have like 18 or 20 bolts like the other transmissions. And the filter and everything goes together so easy. It's got that nice little thread on filter. It's easy to drain it with the drain bolt. You know, simple 15 millimeter socket. And uh, just a great, great transmission. All the bolts all firmed up, but they're not all tight. Go ahead, Chris, you can go ahead and finish her up. He's gonna go around and snug everything up. Guys, it's that time to go ahead and feel her up. We're putting four, uh, 7.4 quarts in. It might take a little more because we let her drain for about a half hour. We actually had to reorder another filter. This is 100% synthetic ATF fluid. And this meets and exceeds OEM by about four to six times. And you can comfortably double the severe service of OEM. So basically, if you go 30,000 of towing, you can go 60,000 with this. And it's super robust. And the other great thing is, it's got a really good viscosity to it, and it flows better at cold temperature. So you don't have to get the transmission warm for it to shift fast, which is awesome. And it's that time to go ahead and just fill her up, crack her loose. And I love the color of this stuff. Beautiful, beautiful cherry. Dark cherry. Time for port number two. Alright, we're going to go lefty. makes it interesting. I'm going to go test driver right now. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and run her for a second. We're going to alternate between start, uh, between park, reverse, drive. Wow, that was smooth. Uh, Alright, uh, now we're just going to go ahead and cycle through. So we're in park. I'm going to go reverse. Let her idle for a couple seconds. We're going to go to drive.
and right now all the fluid is circulating through the uh, torque converter, through the filter. Everything's getting all full. got to add we're still a little bit low with our master tech Jeff he's driving and we're gonna go drive her around the block listen to how quiet she is after the oil change we did the trans the rear diff and then we'll be back next time to do the coolant and we're gonna do the front diff because the oversized rear diff ended up taking 4.2 quarts so we didn't have quite enough gear lube but no big deal she was running beautiful Let's All right, let's drive her. Let's do it. So I'll roll down the window. I mean, I can barely hear that engine. Just barely. Oh, crap. oh yeah. Oh my God. I can feel that. It's got some snap. That is so quiet. Oh my God. That is ridiculous. And that's full throttle. That's literally full throttle. You can't even quiet. hear it. You can't even hear it. No, not even a little bit. That is unbelievable. I can't even feel those shifts. I hear the tires. That's I it. hear the tires, yeah. This guy's traction kicked in. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Even in wide open throttle, the shifts are soft. Oh my god. Yeah. So smooth. We'll roll up the windows. Yeah. So we can get a little impressions of what it's be like on the highway. We're going 52 mile an hour. Yeah. Can't even hear it. I can't hear it. It's yeah. almost what the inside of a Cadillac sounds like. I mean, we're talking at normal tone. Yeah, I'm talking to diesel truck. Totally regular. Yeah. It's a cloudy, beautiful, beautiful day out here in Las Vegas. Look at those gorgeous clouds. Ugh. 80,000 80, miles on this truck. This thing ain't even broken in yet. Yeah. Barely even broken in. What about 1 18th of its life? Just look at this. This is the last time he'll ever see this sticker that says Mobile One. We're taking it off. Yep. We're done. That's it. It's gone. That's it. <laughs> you know, they say Jeff's a gladiator. You know what the definition of a gladiator is? A Roman guy with pubic hair between his teeth. Hey, gladiator. That works. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I can't believe that there is zero vibration in this yeah. thing. You can't hear anything. We get is dead silent in here. Such smooth buttery shifts. Good thing this is. Uh, we used our 75W90 gear loop. We also did our transmission, and that was the uh, fuel efficient ATF, which is signature series. It has the extra additives uh, so it can go double the severe service. Do you enjoy this video? If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel. Also, if you're new to the channel, you can tap the little red icon in the corner, and then you'll be able to come back and watch these videos later. All right guys, that pretty much sums it up. If you have any questions about this transmission fluid change, just feel free to reach out to me. You can text me anytime. Uh, also, we have a playlist right here on many other transmission fluid changes. And also in the, uh, you'll see a little eye in the corner. You can click on that. There's a lot of other videos on the channel. And uh, I actually had a little malfunction with my camera. That's why I'm ending it here in a bookstore. I know you're thinking, why didn't I end it out there in the road? So yeah pretty much uh, that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions reach out to me anytime really appreciate you guys being a part of my youtube community and if i can help you absolutely love to help you anytime we'll see you guys back next time on synthetic oil protection cheers to protection protection protection